Hi, this is Sami Zulfikar and you're watching Social Sciences. Today we're going to talk about another influential school in anthropology known as Structural School. According to Clark, structuralism is a way of thinking that works to find the fundamental basic units or elements of which anything is made. Structuralism is long out of fashion by the turn of 21st century. Structuralism has remained among the most important theoretical perspectives to originate within uh, the discipline of anthropology. Although its roots are deeply intertwined with the 19th century sociology, psychology and linguistics, structuralism essence lies in the belief that things cannot be understood in isolation. Uh, they have to be seen in the larger context of the larger structure they are part of. It is obvious that there are few schools of anthropological theory that are closely identified with the work of one individual. Uh, like structuralism is uh, referred with the work of Claude Lévi-Strauss. Lévi-Strauss approach arose in large part from dialectics expounded on uh, by Marx and Hegel. Though dialectics as a concept dates uh, back to ancient Greek philosophy. Hegel explains that every situation uh, presents two opposing things and their resolution. Fischer had termed these uh, as theses, antithesis, and synthesis. Levi Strauss argued that cultures also have this structure. He showed, uh, for example, how opposing ideas would fight and were resolved to establish the rules of marriage, mythology, and ritual. This approach, uh, he felt, made for fresh new ideas. He stated, People think about the world in terms of binary opposites, such as high and low, inside and outside, a person and animal, life and death, and that every culture can be understood in terms of these opposites. Uh, from the very start, he wrote, uh, the process of visual perceptions makes a use of binary oppositions. In 1972, his book, Structuralism and Ecology, detail the tense of what would become structural anthropology. In it, uh, he proposed that culture like language is composed of hidden rules uh, that govern the behavior of its practitioners. What makes cultures unique and different from one another are the hidden rules uh, participants understand but are unable to articulate. Thus, the goal of structural anthropology is to identify these rules. Uh, Levi Strauss proposed a methodological means of discovering these rules through the identification of binary oppositions. The structuralist paradigm in anthropology suggests that the structure of human thought processes is the same in all cultures and that these mental processes exist in the form of binary oppositions. Uh, some of these oppositions include hot, cold, male, female, culture, nature. Structuralists argue that binary oppositions are reflected in various cultural institutions. Anthropologists may discover underlying thought processes by examining such things as kinship, uh, myths, and language. It is uh, proposed then that a hidden reality exists beneath all cultural expressions. Structuralisms aim to understand the underlying meaning involved in human thought as expressed in cultural expressions. Structuralism represents a creative bright cloth that is more than the sum of its parts. Essentially, uh, it is both a perspective and a method that assumes that culture is a system that can be objectively and empirically analyzed in terms of the meaningful relations and uh, contrasts existing between minimal, uh, paired or binary mental units. As this implies, structuralism likewise assumes that culture is a cognitive phenomenon. Strauss also worked on myths. Uh, the existence of structural similarities among seemingly different myths of different cultures was uh, one of Levi Strauss' particular areas of interest. He analyzed the common features, themes of the different versions of the myths and classified them in groups. He named these bundles as mythemes. 
He found that myths deal with the binary opposition, that is, thesis and antithesis, and finally looks for reconciliation through synthesis. According to him, the structure of savage mind was similar to the civilized mind. He was interested in the universal model of mind and looked for this universal structure for everything. Um, thus, his thinking was synchronic in nature rather than diachronic. Strauss was criticized because of uh, focusing on human mind only. According to many scholars, his uh, theories are difficult to understand, especially the postmodernists do not believe in his uh, universality. Strauss took many ideas from uh, structural linguistics, including those of uh, Fredin de Saussure, uh, Roman Jacobson, Emile Durkheim, and Marshall Moss. Saussure argued that linguistics need to move beyond the recording of parole and come to an understanding of lang and the grammar of each uh, language. Levi Strauss applied distinction um, in his search for mental structures that underlie all acts of human behavior. Just as speakers can talk without awareness of grammar, he argued humans are unaware of the workings of social structures in daily life. The structure that form the deep grammar of society originate in the mind and operate unconsciously. Another concept was borrowed from Prague School of Linguistics which employed so-called binary oppositions in their research. Roman uh, Jacobson and other analyzed sounds based on the presence or absence of certain features such as uh, voiceless versus voiced. Strauss included this in his conceptualization of the mind's universal structures. For him, opposites uh, formed the basis of social structure and culture. Levi-Strauss theory was criticized because of focusing on human mind only. As I discussed earlier, many scholars believe that his theories are difficult to understand and he totally avoid about the historical particularism and uh, postmodernists uh, do not believe in the universality of the structuralism as well. So this is all about uh, structuralism. If you have any question, you can comment in the section below. Thanks for watching. Thank you.